Today we're going to bust some electrolysis myths. There are some myths that I've heard come about and some of them I kind of have an idea where it came from. Um, so I'm going to sort of discuss the topic, tell you where I where it's come from and then give you the fact rather than the myth. The first myth is that electrolysis is only for facial hair. I have a feeling that this myth came out from electrolysis being suitable for smaller areas because of how time consuming it is. But electrolysis can be done on any air, like any area on the body, legs, arms, underarms, bikini area, stomach, back. Obviously you need to consider that it is one hair being treated at a time and the amount that is going to is going to cost but the fact is that you can get it done anywhere on the body it's not just for facial hair or just for small areas i personally chose to specialize in facial hair only because that's just my what i've chose to niche down in but you can get it done anywhere on the body so that is the fact for you the next myth is that electrolysis can make your hair grow thicker. I don't know where this myth came from. I have some kind of an idea with what people have experienced and why it's happened. But if electrolysis is being done correctly, which it should be done correctly by a professional, then there is absolutely no possibility of the hair growing back thicker. The needle is inserted into the hair follicle and then the heat at the tip of the needle destroys the the root of the hair it doesn't travel anywhere outside of that it's just in the hair follicle um, and when the hair that is then taken out with tweezers with no force that hair has been destroyed there is no possibility of the hair growing back thicker in any way where i think this myth possibly came from is that the treatment wasn't done correctly where the hair was plucked out rather than slid out without traction and if the hair was plucked then there is a possibility of the hair being stimulated because it was just plucked out it wasn't destroyed so that's where i think it came from but if we're talking about electrolysis being done correctly like the professional correct treatment, there is no possibility of it growing thick and that is a myth. The next myth is that electrolysis is not safe. And I'm gonna explain that there are no risks with electrolysis to your health. There are contraindications where certain people cannot have electrolysis. There are certain situations where it's not recommended to have it. But apart from that, again, where we're talking about electrolysis being done correctly, there are no risks to your health. Okay, the next one is not technically a myth. It really just varies from person to person. Um, and the myth is that electrolysis is very painful. Now, electrolysis is not a comfortable treatment to have. It can be uncomfortable. Um, and pain is very, uh, is dependent on your pain tolerance and it depends on what area you're getting done. So some people find it painful on certain areas but not on other areas. So for example, getting your eyebrows done is sensitive, um, it's not nice. The upper lip I personally find very painful but I have clients who get the upper lip done with no numbing cream and they're completely fine with it. So again pain tolerance is very different. I don't find the chin painful, I don't find the abdomen that painful, I don't use numbing cream on those areas, I never have. So <clears throat> with certain areas I can tolerate the pain, sometimes I'm, I don't even, like it doesn't phase me at all, it's, it's very bearable. So yeah, that's why I've included it as a myth in this video, even though it is an uncomfortable treatment to have, it's not necessarily painful for everyone, so that's why I've included it as a myth. The next myth is that electrolysis doesn't work on darker skin tones. This is incorrect. Electrolysis works, it doesn't see colour, so it works on any hair colour, any skin colour. It's just certain skin tones, certain hair types might be more effective with certain types of electrolysis that's the only thing i am working on designing a video talking about electrolysis on darker skin tones i had a request for that and i am gonna make a video on that soon but yeah it can be done on any skin tone any hair type any hair color so that is a myth the next myth is that electrolysis is expensive now this is very dependent on who you go to where you're located and how much hair you have in the area if the hair is virgin hair or if it's been stimulated there's loads of factors to it but i'll give you myself as an example so my chin and my neck area if you've watched my journey 
the hair i stimulated it a lot by trying all of these uh, other hair removal methods so it took a long time to reverse all of those hair follicles and destroy all of those hair follicles it took three years and i spent approximately about 800 pound it was just over but for example my chest hair i didn't have a huge amount it was less in the area the hair was also virgin hair meaning that i didn't stimulate it in any way i didn't pluck i didn't wax i didn't use any other hair remo removal methods on it it was virgin hair i had six sessions of electrolysis started with 15 minute sessions and then it eventually went down to five minutes to none i, I did six and that was done um, those six sessions in total cost me approximately about 60 70 pound so in some cases it's not always expensive i paid about 60 pound for permanent results to remove chest hair it's not always expensive in every case of course with chin hair i have clients who come in and have just a few here maybe a few there it takes less than five minutes and they pay up to five pounds you pay about five pounds for a chin wax which is a temporary hair removal method. So in certain cases, it's not expensive and that's why I've included that as a myth. But I had um, a client ask me a really good question. She said, oh, if I get this area done and it isn't virgin hair and for that size and how dense the hair is, how much is it really gonna cost me? And we kind of calculated it just to give like some kind of an idea and it was gonna come up to six grand. So £6,000 is a shit ton of money, um, but it's just because of the type of hair in the area, how dense it is, the, you know, just, it's very dependent from person to person. Um, and it was like a kind of rough idea with how many hours it's going to take, because electrolysis is charged by minutes, and if that area is going to take about six you know five six hours you're going to be paying a lot of money for one session to get that one clearance so yeah in some cases it can be six grand and six thousand pounds in other cases it can be um 60 so massive difference but yeah it is a myth because it's not in every case the next myth is that electrolysis only works on coarse thick hair the truth is electrolysis works on any hair thickness as long as the hair is visible like if i can visibly see it so that i know where to put the needle in and find the hair follicle that hair can be destroyed um so electrolysis isn't only suitable for really thick hair it is effective on thick hair medium or thin the next myth is that electrolysis works with is like a one-time thing it doesn't mean that you're going to have one session and then you're done forever the hairs they all go through a cycle the chin hair this little area here i always just give the chin hair as an example there are 500 hair follicles on the chin hair alone and they're not all growing at the same time they all grow through a cycle anagen catagen telogen it sheds and then a new hair grows there isn't a hair in that follicle for a short amount of time and then it grows through it's like the hair on our heads you know it sheds and then new hair grows through so to try and catch each cycle of hair is one of the reasons why electrolysis is time consuming and why it's not a one-off treatment and you're done one one and done kind of treatment i hope that this video was helpful and i hope to see you next time